Hello everyone and welcome back. It was another mid-70s day today. The cool summer continues. Tomorrow is supposed to get up into the upper 80s, so I have the sprinkler going on the garden. A nice day of heat with a lot of moisture will be good for it. Continuing to work on the projects back there, which uh, have switched. And I don't know if that video has been up yet, but uh, you'll get up to date soon. Melissa just made a batch of biscuits, and so far she has canned 52 half pints of different kind of jams, and some of them are really good this year. She's just, uh, the, the, you know, the weird one was cherry pineapple. To me, that sounds horrible, and it was absolutely delicious. So, we'll get this video going tomorrow. It's almost 9 o'clock right now, but uh, nice day today. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Well, I haven't filmed much the last few days for the farmhouse. I've been busy behind the mobile home, digging the holes for the uh, new guest house. But the other day I did run back in the woods because I wanted to see if I could find any more blueberries or service berries or anything, and that was kind of fun, actually. Just taking a little walk in the woods here. I want to go back toward or towards the back part and see what I can find for blueberries or whatever kind of fruit. A person really never looks this time of year because the mosquitoes get bad and so many things that she's canning right now in there. Like, how much more do you want to put on your plate? I think she's canned 53 half pints right now. Now I put a whole bunch of the fruit into the freezer today so she'd have more time. So let's go back there and see if we can find anything. Get up there. Come on, let's go. Get up there, Joni. You're supposed to be protecting me from horrible animals. Lots of blueberry bushes here but I don't see any blueberries on them. Oh, <laughs> Joni just jumped a grouse. I guess there's one right, oh, no, that's not it. That's the bug that did that. It's funny how there's so many of them in the patch up on the north side of the field. See any berries here though? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's a few. Labrador tea right there. These are all blueberry bushes, also, or blueberry plants. I guess they don't probably get a whole lot of sun back in here. More plants, but I don't see any blue. Kind of nice back here. This kind of sticks out into the low area behind. This is where all those deer come in on the camera. When I put those out in the fall, there's some blueberries right there. That person could come here and pick some, and I, there is a few. These are right at the edge, so they get a little more sun right there. It's a nice sized blueberry. Yeah, I probably have to come out here and pick tomorrow after work. Some more blue.
Don't even know if I want to tell Melissa about all these. Look at all those. I'll be out here forever picking. Lots of maple trees. A lot of blueberries, but I thought maybe here with that little opening they would get uh, afternoon sun. Don't see any blue right here though. All of this is lined with it though, along the edge. This is the trail that I cleared back here so I could collect the sap from these maples in this little circle here. A few blueberries down there. Yeah, look at that. Out here there's some too. Come on, Joni, let's head north. There's a few. Maybe I find a different way to go. Two years ago I kind of cleared this out to get back to this one tree for maple uh, sap. This one right here. This is another little peninsula type area that sticks out. Here's some taller blueberry plants. Not as plentiful here as they are on the other side. I'm also kind of looking around for, well in previous videos I always called it pin cherry, but it's actually service berry. I was corrected today and they were right. Actually Melissa was at work and talking to a lady that came in, a client, and they had been picking service berry. Melissa said we were picking pin cherry and she said I've never seen pin cherry up here and Looked it up and sure enough, pin cherry is a bright red berry. This right here is service berry. I can see only one berry on it right now. Oh yeah, this is a service berry and it's got a lot of berries on it yet. I don't know if you guys, if I point this to the sky, it's going to get dark. So look fast. They're right up there. Let's see if I can... I doubt you. Maybe you can see it. There's a lot of them.
more raspberry plants out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's check that horse radish. It's somewhere back here. There it is. Doesn't spread much way back here, but still growing. And this is the blueberry patch we've been picking on the last week and a half. Haven't been doing a whole lot of cutting on this because this week we're gonna decide on the wood boiler. And if I'm gonna run it in the wood boiler, all I have to do is cut it up into three foot pieces and they'll go in whole. No reason to chop it all up like this. Come on, Joni. I grabbed the forklift earlier today and picked up the first of these three bundles that are left. And now today, Melissa's in there making breakfast for lunch and I am out here cooking up some hash browns on the Blackstone. Later on I'm gonna get the grill going and do a whole bunch of pork ribs so we have food to eat this week. It's nice to do a lot of the cooking on Sunday so you don't have to worry about it. I did a ham last Sunday and I was still eating some of it last night. Later on today I think I'm going to run back and see if there's any more blueberries. I know we have to get on and pick uh, raspberries. We've picked a lot but there's a lot of them out there that are ripe. But with that, the whole switching from the mobile home restoration to the guest house was real busy. I do have to make a list of stuff today and get it ordered for lumber. So that will take up part of my day also. August 24th is a scheduled date for them to come out and put in the uh, wood boiler. That should be pretty fun. Well, after lunch, my dad stopped by. He was here for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. He was coming back from the cabin. Didn't even know he was gonna show up. So it was nice to see him and talk to him. And then I was in there, got another video uploaded and just made that public. Now it's probably 5.30. This really isn't much of a farmhouse video, but it's going to get me back on schedule since tonight is Sunday night. So right now I'm just out picking some berries because there's so many of them. And I'm going to cook up those ribs. Seems like it's been a busy day, but it really hasn't. And actually that's kind of nice because every day has been so busy and Every foreseeable day is going to be so busy. It's 
it's a really good year for raspberries. This is what it's like. Like I open it up, see all those. And these are nice big ones. That's what we like about this raspberry patch. But I mean, every layer that you go back, there's more. Melissa's in there doing dishes right now. And then she's gonna come out and help pick. We'll still not get through this whole thing, but look, they're just everywhere. Every time I leave and come back on this trail that's in here, a whole bunch more have gotten life right already. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not missing it. <laughs> Nice batch of ribs on the grill. Get back out there and help Melissa pick more raspberries. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I know this wasn't a long one. It's pretty choppy, but I just needed to get caught up and now I'm back on schedule. I will see you guys on the next video. It's almost the end of the first week in August. It's 49 degrees right now and raining. If it was 15 degrees colder and the winds were cold enough aloft, this would be coming down in heavy, wet snow.